my tiny little daisy. Ciao, friends! Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today to see my tiny little daisy, Daisy Granny Square. I really love how it turned out with the black. I made it in several different colors. There's a red, and there's pink, and there's a robin's egg blue. But I really liked how it turned out with this charcoal gray. I thought this was awesome. It's so pretty. To make it easier seeing it on the screen, though, I am not going to use the black this time, but I love this. I'm going to make tons of these, and I'm going to put together a project that I will show you as soon as I can, as soon as I have it all done. But i got a big pile of them here, so let's get started. We're going to make this one right here, but we will make it using, this is all Karen Simply Soft, the yellow that I'm going to be using. This is Sunshine, and then, of course, white for the daisy. And then I'm going to use Orchid for the outside so it's a little bit easier to see. All right, even though Karen Simply Soft wants a five millimeter hook, I'm using a four because I like how the stitches look. This is my Divot Shilp's four millimeter purple heart. I love this hook. This hook is just awesome. It's so pretty. All right, so we start with the magic circle to make our daisy middle. And if you're unfamiliar with the magic circle or magic ring, I have a tutorial that's like two minutes long. It's super easy, so you can do this a super fast way. Just like that, done, bam. All right, so there's our magic ring, the magic circle. So we are going to make this guy. So we start in our magic ring with 12 single crochets. And like I almost always do, I'm going to mark my first stitch, especially when I'm working in the round because I don't like to have to stop and count stitches. So here we go. There's our first single crochet. We want 12 in our ring. Right, so there's our 12. And pull this closed. You don't have to pull it closed all the way if you want to leave it open. Otherwise, you could pull it really tight. Either way works for me. This one I can see, I pulled didn't pull this one in very tight, but I pulled that one in tighter. They both look cute, so it doesn't matter. However you wish to do that part. And now we're just going to slip stitch into our marked stitch. And that's it. I'm done with the yellow. So just fasten him off. And we're done with that, just that little tiny bit of yellow. So you should have 12 stitches. Now we go on, move on to white. We're going to use the white to make 12 bobbles. And our bobbles are, you can start in any stitch. We're going to use every stitch here, all 12. Chain one up. And now our bobble is going to be a double crochet. Double. So we just go pull through two, don't finish that stitch. The middle one is a triple crochet. So over twice, pull through two, and pull two th through, pull through two again. And then our last stitch in that same stitch will be a double crochet, pull through two. Now we have four loops on our hook right here. We're going to pull through everything, chain one to close, and one more chain. We're going to do that 12 times. So I'll show you one more time. Making a bobble, so we're going to have a, generally I call it a cluster, but a lot of people call it a bobble. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, don't finish that double crochet. The middle one is a triple crochet, so we're going to pull through two and pull through two, but don't finish with the third time. And then one more double crochet, pull through two. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through everything, chain one to close, and chain one more in between. So we want 12 of these little clusters. And here's my last one. So it was a double, it's a double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet bobble. So we're going to do Yarn over, pull through two, but don't finish that. Yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two again. 
and then yarn over one more time with the double crochet pull through two now we have four loops on our hook yarn over pull through everything and chain one to close and one more chain now we just have to finish this round off so all you have to do is find the space in between your first bobble and your second bobble right here and slip stitch and fasten off so there's our little flower and now this part you can do almost any color you want whatever color scheme you want to do this really changes it up a lot see there's a robin's egg and this one is a really deep brick red and this one is the victorian rose but the middles are all exactly the same i love the black this, this uh, charcoal gray is what I'm going to be making a project out of, but that won't show up on screen very well. So I am going to use Orchid. It's a really light purple from Karen Simply Soft as well. And I just love how this showed up. You know, this is our last round. This one is so simple. So you just pick any spot that you want in between a bobble. So right here I'm going to go in between a bobble, take my new yarn, and we are going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now in that same stitch, we want to do three more triple crochets. So that's two yarn overs. and there's number three so we really just did half that corner we'll finish it when we get all the way around all right so in the next space in between a bobble we want to put in three double crochets go over that purple tail to try to weave him in a little bit saves a little bit of time one two and three so there's half a corner and one granny cluster one more granny cluster so now we're going to work over the white and the purple because my white has just showed up so in between these bobbles we want to do three more double crochets and then we just worked half of us half of a corner and two granny clusters and now we're going to do another corner so our corners are in the next space, I'm going to put in three triple crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three in between and do another set of three triple crochets in that same stitch to make our corner. And there's my last triple crochet in this corner. And all that time I was working over these ends. So there we have a corner. It started here. There's an edge and there's a corner. So that is our sequence all the way around. We have two granny clusters in a corner all the way until you get back to the beginning. And now I'm going to do my last granny cluster in this space in between those two bobbles. So there's one, two, and three double crochets. So there we go. So all we have to do is finish this corner. We already have our first cluster of three triple crochets and this chain seven counts as one triple crochet and the chain three in between like every other corner. So what we need to do is just in this same stitch put add two triple crochets to finish our corner. And now we slip stitch into the fourth chain. So one, two, three, four. And that is everything. Now you can just finish off. 
That's all there is to it. See, and we're done. That's all there is to it. You can make it a little bit bigger by increasing your hook size. This is a four I used here, and I believe I used a five here, or four and a half. This was a four and a half. So it just made it a little tiny bit bigger. So that's really the easiest way to just change your dimensions a little bit. If you want it to be a little bit bigger, then increase your hook size. I used a four. But thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and please tell all your friends. Stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.